Okay, let's go down here and wait. Oh my goodness! Hey guys, it's me Titans, and before we start, shout out to Angry Birds Beast. His channel is amazing. I watch him all the time. Go check him out. I'll put his link in the description box below. So today we are reviewing the Super Mario Maker for the Nintendo 3DS. And also, Mario Kart 7 for the Nintendo 3DS. First, let's do Super Mario Maker. So this is what it looks like. On the bottom, this is also what it looks like. This is the front of the cover. And this is the back of the cover. So, I'm gonna show you how this game works. See that Parama plant moving? This is it on the bottom. So... There's a display up here, and all your features to build down here. To test out your levels, press play, and it will go to the Super Mario Maker screen. And now you can just control. The controls is the D-pad, left and right, and A, B, Y, and X. A and B for jumping. X and Y for flying or attacking. So let's go to this door. Okay, let's go down here. And oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Again! Okay, so I think I need to fix this. So I can go fix it down here. Also, if your levels are kind of short, just go down here. And hold this. Or just tap it. You can make cool stuff. So, let's go and grab a mushroom and a Goomba. With some wings. See? You can mix crazy stuff. Oh, and also, use your imagination. Or you can try to build other Super Mario levels. Also, also, it uses templates like this. I'm on the new Super Mario Bros. U. This is Super Mario World. This is Super Mario Bros. 3. And this is Super Mario Bros. I like the old design. Kinda getting bored of creating stuff. No problem. You can go to the main menu, and if you build anything, the main menu will have this. One of your levels. Your current level that you built will display up here. There you go. These are down below. There's play and make. If you want to make stuff, go to make. If you want to play something, go to play. You can go to the Super Mario Challenge, the Course World, or the Course Bot. The Course Bot saves all your levels. I'll show you how to do that in a sec. So, let's go to the Super Mario Challenge. Right here, you don't have to build anything. You just have to go and go through all these courses to save the princess. Let's go. So, this is how it would load. See, I got seven Marios left. There's also challenges to get achievements. You have to try to achieve goals. Go. See? How amazing is that? Now time to save a level. If you want to save your level you created, you just go down here to this bot right here, this robot. You press it. And it'll say new save. Press new save. Or you can copy your own save that you just made. So, so the feature is also that when you create worlds and if you accidentally have something that you need to edit, you can edit them and then save them. So when you save, warning, when you save on your previous courses that you just edited, it will overwrite the old save. So it says select a slot. So we're going to select a blank slot and we're going to call it something. 
There you go. Moving on to Mario Kart Seven. This is the loading screen. This is home screen. So you can see right here. Select the character. You can select Mario. You can select Luigi. You can select Peach. You can select Yoshi. Bowser. Donkey Kong. Toad. Or the Koopa. You can also edit your cart. There you go. When you're done editing your cart, press OK. Okay, now it's loading. So this is a racing game. To go forward, you press A. Steer, you use the analog stick to jump. I'm jumping. You press R. This is a really fun game. To boost, you use L. Ooh. You can race in different tracks as well. That's all I have it for today, and also... Check out Power the Mine, his channel, The Race Thirty Sixty Four, Knockout Blocks, and Tyler Fatiasis. So thank you for watching this review on the Nintendo 3DS. Stay tuned for more videos. Like and subscribe. Appreciate your support. Tytoons signing out.